Happy Pokemon Scarlet and Violet release day. The games have finally dropped. We are going to take a look at the Paldean regional decks today. All of the new Pokemon and returning Pokemon that will be in these base games. Now it goes without saying that this video, for those of you that don't want spoiled, is going to contain spoilers. You might want to go into your playthrough and discover these Pokemon for yourselves and I totally get that. Check out this video right here. It's a safe video but it gives you a lot of tips on how to start your playthrough. And before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So as always, we're going to use our trusty source over at Macchio.it. It will be linked down in the description. I think all the images on here are the official images now, so we can go through and have a look at everything. Going to start off with the starter Pokemon. We got Sprigatito, Florigato, and Muscarada. Then for your Coco, Crocolo and Scareledge. Quaxly, Quaxwell and Quaquaval are the final evolutions for the starter Pokemon. They haven't even been officially announced yet by the Pokemon company, but no surprise there. So let me know down in the comment section what you think of the starters, which one is your favorite. Now you are able to see the final evolutions. We got Lechonk, Oinkalon is the final evolution. We do have two evolutions. We've got a female and a male. So depending on the gender, it will have a split evolution. We've got Tarantula, which is the new spider Pokemon. And you can see, you can take a look at it here. It does have an evolution as well into Spidops. And you can have a look at the full image here. This thing looks weird, especially when it's walking around, especially in the Paldea region. Then we've got Nimble, another new bug type Pokemon. It is going to be pure bug based on a grasshopper. And then it's Evolution Lotix, which is a bug and dark type. Very cool Pokemon. Then we've got the Jump Pluff line, Talonflame line, and also we have the evolutions for Pormi. It has an, a second stage evolution of Pormo, and then a full stage evolution of Pormot, going to be electric and fighting. Then we've got the Houndoom line, got the Gumshoes line, Greedent, Sunflora we've seen, Cricketune, and then Vervillian as well making a return. Vespaqueen line, we've got Corviknight line from sword and shield and the blissey line which is good for all those experience points we've got the azumarill line which i'm very happy about i cannot wait to shiny hunt that thing and then the masquerade line as well which is quite nice to see because i do like that bug and flying type we've got flotil line we've got the paldean whooper coming in at number 53 and it's evolution clod sire and this is what this thing looks like it evolves into clod sire looks very cool not quag sire but clod sire gonna be a poison and ground type We've got the Golduck line, uh, Dreadnought line, we've got the Wigglytuff line, and we have, of course, the God of War line with Gallade. So we've got all of those in there. Hypno and Drowsy making a return. We've got the Gengar line, and then we've got Tandemouse, which is the two little mouse Pokemon. Uh, Going to be a pure normal type, and it does have an evolution into Mousehold, which is an evolution into either a family of three mice or four mice. So depending on some criteria when you evolve it, it will either have three of them or it will have four of them. And we've got the Pikachu line, Pichu and Raichu along with them. And then we've got Fido, that brand new Pokemon we got revealed in the trailers. And it's Evolution, which is Dash Bun, which is kind of like the baked version version of Fido. We've got the Slacking line, Serena line, and then we come on to Smoliv, and it is a two-stage evolution Pokemon, so it will evolve. It is a grass and normal type. Second stage is Dolov, looks a little bit like this. I like the design of this one. This really looks cool. This, for me, could have been the final stage evolution. Oblivia, and uh, it looks a bit like a, an olive tree, and you can see the official imagery up here of this Pokemon. It looks kind of grand, but uh, I don't know if I'm a massive fan of it, to be honest. Let me know what you think. A uh, grass normal type. We've got the Pseudo Wood line. We've got Lycan Rock and the Colossal line. Then followed by the BDSP Classics Luxray and Star Raptor lines. We got Oracorio, and all four forms of Oracorio are available in these games. Then we got the Ampharos line, Lilligant line, and Brelium line. We're going to have Applin, Flapple, and Appleton returning. They're not version exclusive, so you can get them in both versions of the game. Then we got the Grumpig line and another new Pokemon Squawkabilly and uh, this is the bird Pokemon it did get leaked there was an image got leaked a couple of weeks ago about this one uh, it is going to be a normal flying type and it does have some pretty good abilities intimidate hustle and guts that's its abilities and it is it does have three different 
color vary or four different color variations as well. Mischievous and Miss Magius, obviously these are going to be exclusive to Pokemon Violet. You're going to have the Hariyama line and the Crobrola and Crobrominal line. You're going to have Salazzle line. Don Fan going to be in these games as well as Copper Raja and Garchomp. And then we come down to Nakli or Nasli. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is the Salt Rock Pokemon. It is going to be a three stage evolution. This is the first evolution here. Nakosak, which is the second stage evolution, keeping that rock type in. And um, then the third stage evolution, which is Garganakle. And uh, yeah, keeping that rock type in. Got some pretty cool abilities and moves. And uh, yeah pretty weird looking Pokemon but Twingle line and Pelipper then we've got the Gyarados line Barrascuda line we've got Basculin returning and the Swallow line which is another exclusive to Pokemon Violet you're gonna get Meowth Persian the Drifblim line you're gonna get Flababy and Florges line Trio line is gonna be in there Torkoal Camerupt very happy about Camerupt returning the Bronzong line we're gonna get Haxorus line Primeape line and then the big one here the evolution of Primeape gonna be Annihilate and this thing is insanely cool I love the design of this so happy I can finally show the official imagery of it as well so let me know what your thoughts on this thing are this thing is an absolute monster by the way Mycelium Might is its ability new ability anywhere that it has got access to but fighting and ghost absolutely monster I'm looking forward to playing that in competitive and, and through my playthrough of course you've got the Medicham line lucario line we've got that new char cadet pokemon which is the fire type and we know it evolves into two different pokemon exclusives to depending on the version that you've got you're going to get armor rouge which is this one if you've got pokemon scarlet and you're going to get serilege if you've got pokemon violet armor rouge is going to be the fire psychic and serilege is going to be the fire ghost type you're going to get the wish cash line and then you're going to have belly bolt and we can reveal Tad Bulb is its pre evolution, and you can see it here. So, Belly Bolt is the final evolution of this one stage Pokemon. Then we've got the Gudra line, Toxicroc line, and another new Pokemon in Wattrol, which is going to be a flying and electric type. Very cool looking bird. I really like this Pokemon a lot. Very derpy looking, but also very strong as well. It is going to have an evolution of Killer Wattrol, and uh, this is the image of it here again another electric flying type and uh, Volt Absorb is one of the abilities as well as Wind Power and Competitive so I feel like that is going to be a very strong Pokemon. The entire cast of evolutions here and they're all going to be available in the game for us to play with, no new one unfortunately. Dunsparce and then Dunsparce's evolution, the Dunsparce is a brand new Pokemon and it can have two forms, it can have three humps on its back or more commonly it will have two humps then we got the swarbuck line we've got giraffe rig in its evolution for rigoraf we've seen that in the trailers already then we've got the muck line which means a lol and muck will be making a return in these games which is very exciting and i'm super happy about mass chief and a boss stiff are new dog dog type pokemon you can see here these things look mad as well they look crazy I, I kind of like them. I'm kind of undecided though, but they look crazy good. And then the evolution is a mean looking dark dog, but it just looks like it would chew you up and spit you out and just there would be nothing left, right? It looks mean. I like it a lot for a dog type. It's pretty fitting, pretty intimidating looking dog as well. But uh, yeah, dog, dog types and dogs go well together. Then we got the Toxicity line, Dendene, Pachirisu, and then we've got Shrudel, which is the pre-evolution of Giraffei, and uh, we've already had this revealed in one of the trailers that we had for this Pokemon, but Shrudel is the pre-evolution. It's kind of cute, um, and there's that poison and normal type like Giraffei. Then we've got Stantler, the Amoongus line, Electrode line, and the Magneton line, which obviously means Magnezon is going to be in the games. Ditto is returned we got Growlithe, Arcanine, we've got Ursaring, Zangoof, Surviper, Alteria, Skiddo, Gogot, and then we get Paldean Taurus here. And uh, very cool looking fighting type Pokemon. I do like it. It is an absolute menace around the wild area of Paldea, but it is very cool. It is also going to have two different types as well. It's going to have the fighting type as it's main one and there's also going to be an exclusive fighting fire for pokemon scarlet and fighting water for pokemon violet so they are going to be in the games going to be red and blue obviously accordingly depending on their typing but Paldean taurus is going to be that new version then we've got the pyro line skunk tank line we've got zoroark line 
Weavile, Honchcroft returning as well as Gothitelle. We're going to have Paul Teageist and Sinistee, Mimikyu, Klefki, and Didi, and then Bramblin is a new ghost type Pokemon that we've got grass and ghost type. It is based on Tumbleweed. Here's a full image of it. And then we do have Bramblegast here, which is its evolution. Again, keeping that ghost and grass typing. Then we've got Toad School, which is going to be the kind of region variant of tentacruel you know uh, it is going to be grass and ground typing it is very unique typing looks very cool very funny to see it running around the wild area and then you've got its evolution uh, toad scroll and here as the official imagery of it up here which is very cool uh, mycelium might is its ability it is a regional variant not a regional form uh, a bit like wiglet and wug trio so then we've got tropius making a return for mantis is also coming back of course with for mantis you gonna get Lorantis. then we got clove obviously one of the pokemon that we got shown in the trailers is one of those titan pokemon and then one of the coolest pokemon capsa kid from these new games i love this pokemon it's teeny tiny as well in games so you have to really keep your eyes peeled for us this is a pure grass type and then it evolves in to this beast scovillian and uh, this is a fire and grass type look at this thing it looks very cool and a super unique typing chlorophyll ability as well which is very very nice then you've got the cacturn line you've got rello which is a brand new bug type pokemon and uh, pure bug this is what it looks like in game based on a dung beetle and whatever that is that's pushing around you can use your imagination and then this evolves into rabska and this is a bug psychic type uh you can get a clearer image of it there so that is the evolution of it and we got the venomoth line fortress scyther scyther heracross and then flittle which is a new psychic bird pokemon uh, it does have the ability speed boost as well and it does evolve into this ostrich looking pokemon Espathra is its name and uh, pure psychic type so this thing looks kind of weird but uh, it's got some cool abilities as well and cool moves as long with that speed boost ability that it has access to. Hippopotus and Hippowden are in there as well as the Crocodile line, Sandaconda line, Mudsdale line and Volcarona line. Exclusive to Pokemon Violet we've got the Salamence line and then we've got this brand new Pokemon probably one of my all time favourite Pokemon I think officially. Tink Tink, I love it. It is a fairy and steel type. I love that typing, very reminiscent of Mawile. And then, yeah, there's the official imagery of it. It evolves into Tinker Tough. It's here, it's got a hammer this time, and then Tinker Tough evolves into Tinker Ton, which is this thing that just goes around smashing stuff with that massive mallet hammer that it's got. Keeping the same type in throughout, got Pickpocket on Temper on Mold Breaker as its abilities. Got some really nice options, a really strong Pokemon, and uh, something I would definitely suggest getting if you are playing these games. Hatterian line is in there as well as Grimmsnarl, then we've got Wiglet, and uh, then we've got its uh, evolution revealed. We've got got wug trio it is going to be uh three wiglet but they're all pink and um yeah it is a pure water type as well then we've got bomb deer and this is going to be a dark flying type i like this pokemon a lot rocky payload a brand new ability there and uh, this is a picture of it here and uh, this thing is is cool i like it a lot big fan favorite here is finizen and this is the dolphin pokemon i love this pokemon this pokemon is very cool and it is a pure water type as well and then it does have an evolution and we can have a look at palafin and this thing is very cool pure water type again uh with the ability hero to zero which is a very strong ability by all accounts then you've got varum we saw this teased in the trailers never really got revealed officially but it is the engine pokemon and it is reverum is its final evolution both steel poison types interesting typing then we've got size lazar already been uh, revealed in the trailers and orthworm is a brand new steel type pokemon and it looks mad it looks mad stable returning then we've got the bonnet line uh, phalanx halucha spiritum noibat noivern and then the dragapult line another exclusive to pokemon violet we've got glimmit as well which is a brand new rock and poison type pokemon this thing's teeny tiny as well it looks very cool though i do like it and then we've got another evolution for this pokemon which is glamora and again rock poison type uh, toxic debris and corrosion as its ability then we got rotor returning we got Grievard and it's evolution Houndstone and this is the evolution of Grievard a big ghost pure ghost type 
big dog Pokemon. We got Aranguru, which is an exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet, Persimian exclusive to Pokemon Violet, Kamala in both games. Then we've got the Pokemon exclusive to Scarlet in Tyranitar line, Stonjena exclusive to Scarlet, Ice Gu exclusive to Violet, Pinchurchin going to make an appearance as well as a Palisand line, and that Slow Bro, Slow King line, as well as Gastrodon, Cloyster, Quillfish, Love Disc. Finian, Luminian, then Bruxish is in there as well as Alamola, Dragalgi line. Then we've got the Clarita line and Electros line, Oxapex line, and then we got a brand new Pokemon in Flamigo. And this is a flying fighting type, pretty available pretty early on in your playthrough as well. It's definitely a strong option to use if you need a strong fighting type in your team. Uh, it has the ability Scrappy, Tangle Feet, and then the hidden ability Core Star as well. Get the Dragonite line return as well as Frozmoth, Abomasnow, Delibird, Bertic, and the Glalie and Frozloss line. Cryognal making its appearance and then we've got Satitan already revealed in the trailers but it does have a pre-evolution Satotl and this is going to be a pure ice type as well same abilities as Satitan but that is its pre-evolution kind of cute looking until it gets big old and mean like it's going to crush stuff but pure ice type very cool Pokemon nonetheless then we've got Avalog line the Braviary line Bishop and the big thing for Bishop this gen is it does get an evolution King Gambit and it does look like this it's a beast it looks massive i love the look of it i like this pokemon keeping that dog steel typing mycelium might is its ability supreme overlord and pressure are the abilities on this particular pokemon then you've got dino as well as and hydragon exclusives to pokemon scarlet uh, another new pokemon in Belusa in that water and psychic typing there it looks it looks really cool i like the look of this one it's like a real cool sword kind of fish looking pokemon um but nothing really much else to say about it dondoza is a new big catfish pokemon this thing is huge and um yeah you'll experience that for yourself probably one of my favorite all-time pokemon as well for this new generation so far is tatsuguri and this is a water a dragon type pokemon it is a sushi pokemon look at this thing it looks so cool i love it and it does have some color variations you're gonna get it in orange and yellow and red i believe commander is the ability and storm drain as well and uh, yeah you can see the other colors of it there then we come down to the paradox pokemon we can go through all the paradox pokemon these are exclusive to pokemon scarlet this is great tusks then you've got brute bonnet which is the amoongus and then we have sandy shocks as well which is this magneton past form uh, you're going to have Screamtail, which is the Jigglypuff, and then you're going to have Fluttermane, which is the Miss Magius version. Also, the past version of Volcarona, which is going to be Slitherwing, and then Roaring Moon, which is the Salamence um, past form that we're going to get in Pokemon Scarlet. Then moving on to Pokemon Violet, we got the future forms. We're going to get Iron Treads. We've had that revealed in the trailers. Then we've got Iron Moth, which is the future form of Volcarona. We're going to have old Iron Hands here, which is Hariyama's future form. And then Iron Juggalith, which is the Hydreigon future form. And then Iron Thorns, which is a Tyranitar future form, as well as Iron Bundle, which is the funny looking Deli Bird looking Pokemon, as well as Iron Valiant, which is the Gallade kind of feature form mixed between Gallade and God of War as well. Then we've got the legendary Pokemon of this game. You've got Tinglu, which is the dark and ground type. Shen Pao, which is the dark and ice type Pokemon. And then you've got War Shen, which is the dark and grass type slug looking Pokemon. And Shen Wu, which is the dark and fire type Pokemon. All got different abilities as well. So Ting Lu is going to have the uh, Vessel of Ruin. And then you're going to get Shen Pao with the Sword of Ruin. You're going to get War Shen with the Tablets of Ruin. And then Ji Wu with the Beads of Ruin, depending on well, you'll find out when you play the games. Then you've got Coriadon and Mariadon to end things up. And that is everything in the regional decks, taking us all the way to 400 Pokemon. I'm really excited to start the coverage of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on the channel. We're going to have a bunch of guides to help you out throughout your playthrough, figure out things and just make things a lot easier for you to do in game. So thank you for tuning in. Let me know your favorite Pokemon from this list down below and I will see you all in another video. Video very soon. So until then, take care and bye bye.